everyone, welcome to the wild side and this week we're talking all about this wonderful little marsupial. His name is Ranger. What kind of marsupial is he? Find out on this week's wild side. Hey guys, Clay here and I am with Ranger and Ranger is a Bennett's wallaby, also known as a red-necked wallaby. Now this animal can be found in Australia and is the coldest weathered wallaby on the planet, being found at the bases of mountains. Now known as the red-necked wallaby, the Bennett's wallaby is like a small version of a kangaroo. Now they're all marsupials. You see kangaroos grow to about six feet tall, whereas a wallaby only grows to about two and a half to three feet tall. They've got very large feet, which they use for hopping, but see how he's eating? Look at this. He's more of a grazer. Because they're so low to the ground, they graze on plants like grass, uh, little, little things that grow out of the ground. Kangaroos are so tall, they're browsers. They reach up for tree branches and pull those leaves down to eat them. He's got little tiny front legs, big powerful back legs, which he uses to propel himself across the outback. Now wallabies are really super cute, but what's even cuter is when they're born. You see, you don't even know a wallaby is pregnant till the baby's around, uh, to three months old or so. Then they stick their head out for the first time and look around. But when they're born, they're the size of a gummy bear. A gummy bear! And they crawl up their mama's stomach and they get inside of mom's pouch. Now Ranger's a boy, so he doesn't have a pouch. But inside of a, a female's pouch, that's where the babies will latch on and get milk. And that, uh, that mammary gland will actually swell around the baby's mouth and lock them in place. Now, once they start to stick their head out, look around, go back inside. At about four to five months, they'll come out and put weight on their legs for the first time, and then hop back inside. At about six months, they might spend a few hours away from mom, and then get back inside. That'll progress until they're nine months old. Ranger, you know what happens when you're nine months old? They get kicked out of the pouch. Imagine that. You're nine months old and pew, out of the house. And that's exactly what mama wallabies do to baby wallabies. Now, as that baby is leaving the pouch, they could already have another baby in development inside of their pouch. Now, look at this tail. Come close. Look at this really long tail here. They can use this long tail to balance as they're trying to kick their predators, such as dingoes or feral dogs. But their spine will grow out of their, in, from their back into the base of this tail. So the spine actually goes to about here. Now, they're tail isn't prehensile like some of the other animals we featured, but it is very, very important for the animal's mobility. They've got little tiny front arms, very, very big, powerful feet, but look at the toes. Can you see the toes? They've got one large middle toe for propulsion. They've got the outside toe for steering and for stability, and then the inside toe, well, that's a very special toe. It helps them to scratch some of the mites and, and, and bugs they might get on the outback off of them. Now, this little creature right here is a really important animal for the environment in Australia, in New Zealand, in Tasmania. However, <laughs> they don't make very good pets. I know a lot of you are probably watching this going, Aw, Ranger looks so cute. I want a Ranger as a pet. No, you don't. These animals typically don't have any control about when or where they go to the bathroom. They're constantly grazing. They need a lot of land to hop and move around in. They also can tend to be a little rambunctious. When Ranger turns about two years old, he's going to start play fighting with a lot of his keepers. He might try to kick. And if you're not prepared for that, that can hurt you pretty bad. These animals, although cute looking, are still very powerful animals, powerful grazers. Now the wallaby is not an endangered species, but its habitat is facing a lot of threats from wildfires. Wildfires can be sparked by the simplest thing as an unkempt campfire, or a, a rogue cigarette butt, or a strike of lightning. Anything can cause a wildfire to start small and then <laughs> tens of thousands of acres of outback have been burned. And there are plenty of conservation groups in Australia trying to protect species like the wallaby, the koala, the kangaroo. But here at home, like my friends here at Happy Tales in Pipe Creek, more education about these species and how we can be environmentally sound and safe around these animals uh, here in, in the United States and in Australia. The more you know, the better the wildlife around you will be protected. Guys, thanks for tuning in to the wild side this week. As always, stay wild and conservation definitely rules. Go to our bio and click to learn more about my friends Anita and Mark at Happy Tales right here in Texas. They can come to ne your next event and really make it a wild event with some of the creatures they have. 
Until next week, everyone, we hope you have a great time learning about the creatures on our channel, and we'll see you later. For now, Ranger and I are gonna go for a hop. Bye, everybody.